They say you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. And no, I don't wanna be alone. Hi, and welcome to BIM Tech Solutions. In this video, we're going to look at linking models to the central model we created in the last video and the problems link models can have when wrong coordinates are used. To start off, we're going to go to File, Open, Project. I'm going to open the central model. Make sure the Create New Local box is ticked and go ahead and click Open. This is asking us to overwrite the existing file. That's okay, it's only asking us to overwrite the existing local copy saved on our machines and has no effect on the central model. Now we're going to go to our default 3D view. I'm going to go to Find and Shade it. We're now going to link in our structural model to the project. So we go to Insert, Link Revit, and we use the RST Advanced Sample Project. Make sure we're Auto Origin to Origin and click Open. Go ahead and click Close, and we can see that looks to be in the right position. Now we're going to link in our mechanical electrical model, which is in the wrong location. So we go back to Insert, Link Revit, and we go to our RME Advanced Sample Project, Auto, Origin to Origin, and click Open. we can see that's in the wrong position. To fix this we go to 01 entry level first we're going to select our structural model we're going to pin that. Now we want to reposition our mechanical electrical model. To do this we're going to use the align tool which is AL as the Revit shortcut we're going to select our project, level A, or grid A, sorry, and align that. And we're going to press align again, and our grid 1, and the mechanical electrical grid 1, we're going to lock that. Now we select our mechanical electrical model we pin that. We go back to our default 3D view. The easiest way to do this is select everything in the project I'm going to click filter. We want to untick or VT links. Click OK. Now we'll click HH, which is the shortcut for hide elements. We'll select our structural model, and if you look in the bottom left of your screen, it'll tell you which model you're selecting. So that's our mechanical electrical, we don't want that one. That's our structural. Press HH again, and you'll see we're left with just our mechanical electrical. So now we're going to go to Manage, Coordinates, Publish Coordinates, and select our model. We'll select OK to this, and we'll wait for it to save. click OK to this and we can press HR which will reveal all our hidden elements. Now we're going to go to 
manage, manage links, select our mechanical electrical, and we're going to save the position. You go ahead and click save. Click OK. Now we're going to go to Manage, select our mechanical electrical, we're going to remove it. We can click OK to this. Click OK again. Now we're going to try and relink it and see how it works. So we're going to insert Link Revit. We're going to click RME, RME Advanced Sample Project, and we're going to go to Auto Origin to Origin again and click Open. We can see it's in the raw position again. So we're going to undo this, click Yes, go to Manage, or sorry, Insert, Link Revit. We're going to click this and by share coordinates this time and click open. And we can see now that it's in the right location. If you want to check, we'll just do the same thing again. Highlight everything. filter on tick or VT links I want to type HH And you can see our two linked models lined up perfectly. So let's press HR. The next thing you want to do is synchronize. This saves all our changes we've made back to our central model. Go ahead and click OK. That's how you solve problems with linked files in wrong locations. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to link, like and subscribe and click the bell for our future uploads. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks. They say you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here.